What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a Black Ops 3 competitive S&D 3v3 scrim. I don't know if I just said 3v3 twice. I have no idea. I'm exhausted, guys. Um, I've played this game for 16 hours straight? I don't know, something like that. But all in the first day, um, and I just got off of work because I, I didn't get much sleep last night, and then I went in. Did work. Recording a video. Hopefully we'll go up today before I get back on again. So my brain is kind of fried. I will do my best to make sense with my words. But uh, please forgive me if things go a little crazy or if I sound like I'm stoned or something. But anyway, starting off real quick. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Just basic explanation here, guys. Basically three things. Uh, one, well, two things really. One, I lost my job for about four weeks. Um, I have it back now, obviously, since I just told you guys I got back from work, but it was rough. Um, I'm out of money, and I owe my dad some money, so I'm having to try and work extra hours as well and get that back up. Suffice to say, I wasn't able to get the PS4 because of that, so I am playing on the Xbox One now, so we'll just have to see how that goes. And the other thing was there was a family thing that came up, and that was a bit of a... Uh, it was, it was a bit stressful. Oh, also, my computer my computer is very special. The charger cable, I have to have it so perfectly, like, aligned for it to actually charge so that I can, you know, get on Skype, make videos, all that fun stuff. So it's, there's there's that, and I can't afford to replace a charger. So things, things were a little bit crazy for a while, but I'm here. I'm going to be making Black Ops 3 content, even if something stupid crazy happens again and I'm not you know uploading for a couple days I'm here I'll be coming back so don't don't get too worried about that but getting into the video here guys first impressions I know we're already two minutes in and I'm just getting to the main topic here but starting off I want to talk about a few of the problems I noticed so mostly tech issues here uh, a big thing was the game crashing or having to restart the game because you can't connect to people which is really bad for competitive, because we would be going into games, like we were playing a tournament last night, and we would go into games, like we spent three hours trying to play this one match, because we would go in, and then somebody would lag out, and then another person would lag out, and this is before we even start the game, and then when we would finally get everybody, and we'd get the rules actually right, and we're in the, you know, the pick and ban, or whatever they call it phase, we start going, and then somebody drops connection. And so we like restart it or we try and get them back in or something. And it just kept going on and on and on. It was ridiculous. It was, it was, it was just wrong. A lot of, we would have to hard boot our Xboxes sometimes too, to get it to work. It was just, it was absolutely ridiculous. I hope that gets resolved before I even get on today because I don't want to have to deal with that again. Um, it was very, very frustrating. Um, also for the PC community, I heard this game doesn't even work, like, on the high-end PC gaming equip equipment, so that's bad. I mean, I know we don't have a huge PC community, but, I mean, come on, at least make your game work. Um, also, Arena does not work very well for several people. Myself, I can't go into Arena by myself or with other people if I'm the leader of the party. Um, I know a couple other people who can't actually play because once they start the, the pick-and-ban phase they will um, disconnect, um, and so they can't play. So it's there's some bugs in that that needs to be worked out. Um, other than that, there's a, the, the few issues. I, well, one issue that needs to be figured out is what do you do if you if somebody disconnects during or after the pick and ban phase? Do you restart the game? Do you have to pick the exact same picks and bans again? And that's my cat's fighting. I'm sorry about that. But what do you what do you do there? Um, so that needs to be clarified because that's a lot of time to have to redo. But it's also you know we we did that pick and ban phase exactly the way we wanted it to do it. So things could be different now. So we don't want to have to go through that again. So I don't know. That has to be addressed. Um, other than that, respawn is scary to play right now. It, it really is, besides the fact of not necessarily, well, I, I, I pretty much know hardpoint rotations now, but besides, you know, being kind of iffy on the maps in general and stuff, uh, no respawn delay, especially in uplink, that is, it's, 
it's the end of the world. It's like it's the end of the world constantly. It feels like you're playing like ground war or something. It's insane. So that needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Please, please implement rules with that. Um, so other stuff, the pick and ban phase, and this is this is getting into the more positive or just things that I noticed. Pick and ban is going to be super super crucial in this game. First competitive tip really to you guys here. And you don't have to follow this, but I think it might be something that I will do personally, and I think it could be quite a good thing, is to have some something different that about your team that you ban. So, for example, like, you always ban Quick Draw for your first ban or something. Something that will throw off normal people, because normal people put on Quick Draw, so you banning that is really going to mess with them. So things things like that, you know, just throwing your opponents off. And if you're already used to playing like that, then, you know, it is what it is. You just got to try and do something really wacky without using a lot of your banning phase to do it. Because you want to make sure you can ban other things that you think are crucial or to counter ban as we'll come to know it as we start figuring out what to ban during certain times. So it's going to be interesting to go through that. Um, as far as the weapons go... I think they're fairly balanced, uh, and because of that, and because it's only been one day, I don't know exactly what weapons are the best, but these are the ones that I personally feel are for my role, which is Slayer or Anchor. Um, I like the ICR, especially on Host. Sometimes it's really bad, though. You, it, it, it feels like a connection gun to me, so it's hit or miss with that. If you want something like the ICR, though, play Man of War. That one's a little more consistent as far as being on point. It's a little more bouncy, though, in my opinion. The ICR kind of feels like a laser beam, kind of like um, the ACR or the uh, Remington, if you think of previous Call of Duties. As far as SMGs go, I like the Razorback. It kind of feels like a, an AR, but like you can you have the mobility of an SMG. I know a couple people in the OBJ category, like I think the VMP, so you can look into that. Uh, CUDA seems all right to me, but I don't know. Some people are saying they don't like it now, so it is what it is. Um, oh, I've, one other AR is the Shiva, whatever it's called. It's the semi-auto one. You can't fire it as fast as your trigger finger, but it still seems like it's all right. The M8 got nerfed, so I don't really like it anymore. I don't really like the burst weapons in this game. I don't know. Maybe it'll get a buff again, or maybe you know, as we discover more, it'll wind up being a good thing we'll have to see as far as lmgs go i messed around a little bit with it i prefer right now the gorgon it's a slower shooting um lmg but it seems to work really well for me personally as far as the maps go things are pretty much all right they're they're all right i mean there's some that need to be cut but we'll we'll just have to see as things go um hard point hills there are some hard point hills that are really really weird um, very one-sided. There's some contest points that are ridiculously overpowered, and there are a couple maps where there's like three or two or three like hardpoint locations on the same side of the map in a row. So if you spawned there, you know, like at the start of the match, you have an advantage, and it, it kind of sucks. But we'll have to see how that works. Um, on uplink, you can throw the ball quite a bit further, and also spawn traps, at least in uplink, seem to be pretty strong. I don't know how bad the spawn traps are in hardpoint really yet. I mean, they seem to not be too bad, but at least in uplink, you can get some pretty pretty crazy ones going, so uh, that, that might need to be fixed, but maybe it'll be fixed with the respawn delay once that's implemented. I don't know. We'll have to see. As far as Dead Silence goes and the whatever the perk is that stops your uh, booster from making noises, of course those are crucial to S&D, but I haven't decided what I feel about them on uh, Respawn yet. That, I mean, because you can sound whore in this game. You really can. You can hear exactly where somebody is, like halfway across the map, if you have Astros, which I don't, but my teammates sound whore for me when they're dead, and they they can tell me exactly where they are. So that's... It seems like it might be pretty important. I don't know. I'm going to have to experiment around with it before I really say whether or not to use that and respawn. And then rush routes are going to be pretty important as well. Um, you've got to learn to move as efficiently as possible. I know I'm doing probably a terrible job of it, but at least the initial rush route, you got to learn where to wall run, when, and all sorts of things like that, just so you can get there as quickly as possible. 
So there's that. As far as just some other in general stuff, public matches are boring to me. I don't like playing them. Um, I don't find them fun at all. Maybe some other people like it, but I, I don't like it, and it's only, you know, the first day. But, you know. And then zombies. I found zombies to be pretty fun, actually. Uh, very challenging, in my opinion. But it seems like a, a decent zombies map. Pretty complicated. So, you know, if you guys want to give zombies a try. Uh, campaign. I didn't touch campaign yet. Um, I may actually do the campaign for once, just so that I can get the other zombies map at some point. But I'm probably going to wait a while. Competitive is a little more important right now, obviously. So, you know, there's that. Uh, and last other thing, uh, you know, there's a couple other specialists that you can play now. If you guys haven't tried the flamethrower guy, I really like using him. I don't think he's going to be that great except in hardpoint, maybe. Even then, you know, it just kind of depends. It's got to be like a closed off hill. But it it's really fun to just go around flamethrowing people. So... Those are my first impressions, guys. I hope you enjoyed. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.